Hi everybody, welcome to our digital kennel, GermanShepherdMan.com and major, major league puppy. Wow, he's awesome. This is a sergeant puppy and I've decided finally to hold back a sergeant puppy. Sergeant just turned six, so I gotta get, get another awesome dog coming up behind him and this was my pick. Major is his name, Sergeant and Major. So uh, I just thought I'd show you this. I've only put him on a leash a couple of times and getting your puppy on a leash for the first time, number one, you want to do it soon. Uh, when your puppy has had all their vaccinations, I vaccinated six weeks, nine weeks, 12 weeks and 15 weeks and then normally we'll get the rabies vaccination after all of that so at about four months old they are ready to then go out into the public so while you're waiting on that time you can use time at home uh, so let's say you get your puppy at eight nine ten weeks old between then and the end of the vaccinations you can get them used to a leash well he's been he's been training in a little He's been training up so wonderfully. Uh, I just started the leash thing. I, I put one on him only a couple of times. He went uptown for the first time uh, yesterday and uh, did really well. But they are a little, they, they all react differently on a leash. See, he's, he's not used to it at all, but I'm gonna stand up now, Jay. Now he sees Katie walking along over there. Come, Major, that's, uh-uh, 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 come, Major. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Come, Major. Uh, 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 uh. He saw Katie. Good boy. Let me get his attention. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy, Major. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Now, I cleared his head. I call that clearing their head. He saw Katie walking across the property. And he was like, oh, I love Katie. I want to go be with Katie. And he, he just kind of wouldn't get out of that until I cleared his head. This cleared his head. So you can use something to clear their head. Sometimes when I'm training, a lot of times when I'm training and I'm doing something, I'll just stop and just do nothing, just kind of clear their head, clear their head, clear their head, and then get back into training mode to uh, just get them used to on button, off button, on button, off button. You know, that's kind of a, a good thing to do. Good boy, Major. Look at this. Okay, come on. Come, yeah, Major. That's a good boy. Now, find something that moves your dog. Good boy. That's a good boy. See, he's moving with it. Good boy. This is how we'll teach him to heal eventually. Find a ball or something, not a pine cone, but a ball or something, and I'll just get him used to being on this leash. Come, Major. Okay. Okay, come, Major. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Major. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Right here. Good boy. Right here. Good boy, Major. Now I'm going to take him off the leash. Or actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's pull the pine cone out of the equation. That's a good boy, Major. Good boy. Okay. That's a good boy. Good. Now he still thinks I'm... I've got it in my hand somewhere, so he's kind of still looking for it, focused on it. He isn't thinking about the leash. Good boy, Major. That's a good boy. I don't have it. It's gone. It's gone. Well, where is it? Just, you know, take it easy. Okay. Good boy. Come, Major. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Major. Yeah, see, he's wanting to bite the leash. That's something they do a lot at first. They want to bite the leash and have a tug toy, a uh, tug time with you, and you got to correct that. But easily do it. I mean, they'll get over it pretty quick. As soon as you let them get used to the leash, you can also, I have old leashes around here. You can also take a leash like this and cut it off about that long and just let them drag it around when they're in the house. And they'll get used to the leash real easy that way. Come, Major. Let's walk around a little bit, Jay. I mean, for his third time on a leash, he's doing really well. Come, Major. That's a good boy. Let's see if he'll do a right H-E-R-E. -E. Let me get him in position. Major, right here. No. Come on. Come on. Come, Major. Good boy, Major. Right here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Major, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. 
right here. Major, look at me. Okay, good boy. See, take it easy. If you find something that moves your puppy, use it to move them. And, and don't, be, don't be so easily exasperated. Training puppies is a K through 12 process. I've said that one zillion times, but I'm gonna keep saying it. It's real simple. Find something that moves your puppy, correct within a second, but reward within a second. The reward is way more important than the connection, the, the correction, <laughs> way more important. Now, if you're getting a puppy or you just got a puppy, Whatever you do, this will help you a lot. Get my, my own personal puppy training system. It's an online video course, 26 different chapters. Plus, when we have a video like this that we want to put in there, we'll be putting bonus chapters in. And all you have to do is put your username and password, and you can have access to it once you actually get the puppy training system. It will save you a lot of money and make you very confident when raising up your puppy You'll be raising your puppy using the exact same secrets that I use and the same techniques that I am using currently to raise Major League Sergeant the Superdog's puppy. How would you like to have a Sergeant the Superdog one day? It starts molding the puppy. Thank all of you from all of us, German Shepherd Man and MajorLeague.com. <music>